What's up, Kerbal Knots? This is Noel on PC, head of the Experimental Research Division here at the Kerbal Space Program. And today, today we are experimenting with the Military Division. I thought I would build us. It's kind of an offensive weapon. It's an intercontinental ballistic missile launcher vehicle. Just in case we ever get attacked, you know. Uh, so, yes. So today we're just going to run some drills. We're just going to play with this thing and see how accurate it is as far as Bombardment is concerned. Bombardment! 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 Alright, so this thing should... I haven't actually tested it yet. I just realized that. Did I turn... Okay, I turned off those. Good. So only the front wheels are motor. Oh, well, I guess I could... Yeah, I should do enable motor. Enable motor. Enable motor. There we go. So front wheels steer. And the entire cab pulls. We've got these uh, landing legs here to sort of uh, keep the thing upright. I, I assume this thing's probably, when all this weight leans back to here, uh, either this, either the vehicle's going to lift off the ground and it's going to fall backwards, or when the thrust goes, I don't know, I, again, I haven't tested this, so I don't know how it's going to go. So I'm a little, uh, you know, it's a little concerning. It's a little concerning, but he's happy. If he's happy, I'm happy. Okay, let's turn the brakes off, turn the lights on. Oh, lights don't really do anything because it's... It's daytime. Okay, uh, yeah, let's see. Does it, does it move? It's so heavy. It barely moves. Uh, oh, am I out of... Oh, it's because I'm... It's because I'm out of electricity. <laughs> you fucker. You fucker. Okay, uh, solar. Take a solar. Why don't we do something like this so they look like mirrors? Nope, nada. I'm gonna have to do each side on its own. Little, little side mirrors, um, and then we'll just plop one or two. It's going to be very crude, but it doesn't have to be pretty. It just has to be functional. I'm pretty sure that's like painted on a wall somewhere in the Cape Curb Navarral. It's one of their many mottos, one of their many credos. Now, something I saw earlier was these wheels were flexing just a little bit. Can we... Do something like that? Ooh. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I like it a lot. That one's a little wonky. Doesn't really matter. As long as they're tied into something. Beauty. Okay, now we gotta do the other side. This build was a bitch. I gotta say that. This was not a fun build. It was very stressing. Simply because I couldn't use the bilateral thing uh, down to the bottom left. These things, you know, symmetry mode. The symmetry mode was kind of stuck in single unit. Good enough. Um just because of the way it had to go together. I had no choice. It's really unfortunate. Okay, whatever. Good enough. Good enough! Um, something we could do, actually, is do this. To jetty this weight. Yeah, that's... That's what I wanted. Yeah, that's... This game knows me so well. It knows exactly what I want before I even think it. There we go. Is that on there? That's on there. It's not touching the ground? It's not touching the ground. Okay, so we can jettison that and then leave it and drive away from it. We need this, of course, because it has a... Kerbal. Our driver. 
check, 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 and check. Beautiful. Okay. Um, yeah, let's save. And launch. Good stuff. Now you're going to see this missile do a lot of bouncing initially because it's got a lot of weight on the arm. And yeah, that's a whole, that's a whole story unto itself. I tried using, um, there's a new part that sort of like telescopes outward. I tried using that to sort of brace it up and stuff, but all the parts just clip through each other. So it's really unfortunate that um, that you can't balance parts on other parts because I could use like landing legs or something to sort of stick across here and make a brace. Like I even tried putting a strut, just or not a strut, a uh, what's called a girder, one of the steel girders. Try putting a steel girder just across the way, thinking, yeah, it'll it'll bounce. It'll brace itself on that girder and sort of stay in place. No, it just went through it. <laughs> Kept bouncing. Brrr, brrr, brrr. All right, so we are going to just lean this back just a little bit. There we go. Well, it twangs around. I'm tapping T like crazy, and that stabilizes the bouncing. You can see the little winglets fluttering. The little ailerons there just fluttering away. It's because they're doing their balancing technique. Okay, so step one. Jeb out. Beauty. Nice and big. Weighs a lot, too. It weighs like 30 tons. 35 tons. Without the rocket. Board. Okay, now we can get rid of this. There we go. Perfect. All right. All right. As Davis would say. Okay, parking brake off. Uh, sun is in a horrible position. So let's loop back around. Beautiful sunset on our Kerbal Craft. Electrical charge is back up. Perfect. All right. Lights on. <laughs> it's got high intensity discharge lights, giving that soft blue. These are the high beams, of course, if we turn off the high beams and get just low beam. There we go, some nice running lights. Okay, uh, does it move? Does it? Oh, brakes on. It's not gonna go anywhere with the brakes on. All right, moment of truth. Oh, it doesn't, oh, oh, oh. It's just like a real semi-truck. It had a real tough time getting going with that heavy load. And then it goes. Just like a real truck. Does it turn? Holy shit, it turns. That's awesome. We've got the, uh, what's it called? The washer. The free-moving washer there. Two stacked on each other. One attached to the trailer. One attached to the cab. This thing is awesome. Like, I'm just thinking, like, we should make a semi-truck and just drive it around. You know, or maybe like park it over there somewhere. No, that'd be a waste of resources. That'd be a waste of resources. But yeah, this thing actually, this thing actually drives. Let's see what its top speed is. I'm really concerned that the top speed's gonna blow out some tires. Actually, it goes really fast. I guess because it has so many motors. All right, it's got six motors pulling it forward. It's drifting a little bit to the right. Whoa, 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 very, whoa, 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 easy, very tweaky, very, very tweaky. So it wants to top out at about, that's about 40 miles an hour or so, 17 meters a second, that's about 40 miles an hour. All right, let's, uh, let's begin our slowdown phase, because the executives up in the tower there have gathered to see the test launch. I heard Noel on PC is up there somewhere. The man himself, the owner of this whole place. Okay, I'm trying to break without destroying this thing. I feel like if I break too hard, you know, I don't want anything to explode. Oh, oh, getting some shuddering, breaking a little too hard there. It'd be nice, actually, if I could disable almost all the brakes, except these back two wheels. If I could just have them braking, that'd be perfect. All right, we are in a, a 
attack position. We're close to Cape Curbanaveral. We're going to test fire into the unmanned islands. What we're definitely, definitely going to do is a quick save so that if we bork something, we can just reload right to here. Okay, it's a bit of a jittery stop, but we, uh, we're good. All right, so Jeb is going to stay in the pilot seat there. He operates the missile from the pilot seat. The missile is controlled, of course, automatically. By automatically, I mean by myself. All right, get the, uh, get the stabilizers down. I didn't see them take... Well, I guess they did. Yeah, I was going to say, I didn't see them take a lot of weight off the wheels. But the frame, this whole body up here, actually does lift a little bit when they get folded out. Good, okay, so that should have some supports. Beauty. Uh, let's do a quick save, just in case this thing explodes when I try and move it. Ugh. Okay. A little flexy. That's all good. It's just because there's a lot of pieces here. One, two, three, four, and a decoupler. So it's got some weight and it's got some flex. Okay, we want to be going much more straight up. That should just about do it. Good. Okay, let's do a quick save. Whew. All right. Just going to tap S, uh, sorry, T, turn on the SAS a few times. Just toggle it back and forth. That'll get rid of some of the wobble. Okay, moment of truth, guys. Moment of truth. Wait, why is there a decoupler here? Oh, that guy? That's okay, I guess. And, boink. Nice. Nice. I hope we didn't roast that. Well, no explosion, right? If we roasted it, there probably would have been a, a very large boom. All right, the thing is actually staying on course, which is great. I expected this thing to walk all over the place and us have to figure that out. What's going on here? Oh, <laughs> throttle helps, you know. It's always good to turn the throttle on when you're gonna try and fly a, fly a rocket. All right, beauty. Let's go to here. This is going to tell us when we're about there. Something I have noticed is this blue line. You know, I, uh, I've done test runs of planes where I get the blue line flying right towards the airport. But instead of lining up towards the airport, it'll line up towards, like, Maui or whatever this island is supposed to be here. It's really odd. It's really odd that in the map, like, look, I'm going right at that island. But it looks like I'm going to miss it because the map doesn't actually represent a super accurate depiction of what's actually going on up here. Um, we want Apoapsis to almost be over the island, basically. Because the second I turn this throttle off... Oh, shit. What the fuck? What's going on? Hmm. That's a new one. All right, whatever. Good enough, we're in like a holding p pattern. We're sort of coasting along the top of the atmosphere. Not top of the atmosphere, top of our apoapsis. All right. Get into a better attack position. This thing flies almost a little bit like a plane. <laughs> almost, except it keeps doing this. I assume because it's back heavy, what I should have done is turned off we're just taking all the fuel out of here. If it's just, yeah, I don't know. Hindsight's twenty twenty. We don't have that luxury. All right, we're gonna try and get that nose down. Nope, seemingly cannot get that nose down, which is really odd because I have SAS and I have tons of battery power. 
you know, Kerbal be Kerbal. Kerbal be Kerbalin. All right, how's this path looking? Well, I can't tell. <laughs> I have no idea. Let's just do a fast forward and see. Yeah, actually, we are coming down very, very, very close to that hangar. In fact, we might actually even have to... Do some correction. Yeah, let's see. Are we going to make it? Are we going to make it? Oh, what the hell? Huh. Huh, miserable failure. That's really weird. That's really weird. It was coming in in the... Yeah, it was coming in in the weirdest pattern. That's very odd. Okay, let's try this again. Let's try this again, shall we? We're going to throttle up this time. SAS is on. Burn looks strong. Throttles up. Let's do this. I want that fuel to stay there, and I want this this fuel to go first. One and a half kilometers off the ground. Solid fuel, almost empty. Perfect transition. nice and high so that I can just turn off the engine, get the fuel back going the right way, and then pop the, the throttle back on. I don't want to use any liquid fuel or any oxidizer. I guess not that it would because it does need both, but just in case. I always do an engine cut, turn back on, full engine. Definitely flying a little bit more um, stable. It's much more stable this time. Using just a little bit of throttle. The main reason being you want to keep as much fuel in your missile <laughs> as you possibly can, otherwise it's not going to have a lot of destructive power. We are in a descent stage at 15,000 meters. It's about 45,000 feet. Beginning our kill descent. Yeah, this is much more stable now without all the weight being in the back. I can actually do this. I mean, this is what I had envisioned doing is just like sky punching straight down onto a target. We're going to try and hit the hangars because they're a nice easy target. The, uh, whatchamacallit, the tower is just way too small. Okay, we're in pretty much, yeah, we're flying pretty much dead straight. So we can point it down a bit. Losing a bit of control. Nope, just totally lost it all. Surprise, surprise. Just as we're about... No, nope, I've completely, yeah, I lost everything. All right, so we'll F9, and we'll try this again. Hmm. You. You. Oh, for fuck's sakes, come on. The game should know what I'm trying to do here. You're going to want to get the fuck out of here. Run. Run. Get up. Get up and run, you idiot. Run! <laughs> Fucking run! Run! Abort! 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 Nothing? Hmm. Guess it was a dud. Alright. Alright. Let this throttle up. You gotta let it bounce back like that. That's when you pop. Hmm. 
You good, Jeb? Yeah, he's good. Okay. I'm, uh... Hmm. So what is going on back here? There we go. I lowered it down just a little bit. Let's try an F5. Yeah, I'm not sure why it's not launching all of a sudden. Yeah, okay, that was a little better. We're going to try and get some height first. Height over speed. Especially with the booster. It'd be really nice to basically go right straight up over top of the Hawaiian Island. Basically come straight down on it. I think that would be probably the best way to do it. faith. I have faith in this one. I really do. All right, that should. I was going to say that should just about do it, but no, that that was a miserable failure. Look how slow, look how fast the drag is slowing us down and whatnot. So let's pop a little bit of throttle on, just a tiny bit. I want to keep that apoapsis pushing upwards, or at least away from me. I want to see that four seconds grow into a five. Eh, it's holding. Oh, there we go. It grew. Good. 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 Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. Cut the engine. Trying to keep it like a plane with the wings out and the tail fin upright. All right, we're coming down quickly. down. We're going to be very close to it without having to touch anything, I think. I'm going to point right at it and burn full steam to try and correct our course. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Tried to walk off course a bit, but no, this one looks good. Looks like we might actually be able to hit the tower. Here we go. Here we go. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. Boom! Fucking direct hit. I love it. Took some pieces off of it. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, let's go back to... Let's go back to our truck. Basically to see, did it survive the thrust? Because we haven't actually done that yet. Uh, what's going on here? That was weird. All my rockets and stuff were gone. Rover, lander. Landed at runway, landed at runway. Oh, one of these is the pod, and one of them is the actual truck. I think I just got it backwards. I think I just went into the lander. But it's close enough that we can switch to it. I think. Perfect. Okay. So the truck completely survived. Look, every single tire under there is fine. Wow, okay, I, I assumed that the fire blowing out the bottom was gonna like scorch the crap out of this thing, but no, it actually, it actually looks 
great. Let's turn the lights back on. No? Lights off. Oh, is it dead? No electricity? Hmm. So hindsight 2020, I should have put a battery in it. So that's what I'll do. I'll stick a little battery somewhere underneath it because it's out of it's out of juice. I can turn it. I can do lots of things. I don't know why I can do that. That makes no sense. <laughs> the gear works, but I can't. I can't drive. Okay. So you know what? I'm going to call this a video. This was a very successful video. We actually built something with an intention to do something. And surprise, surprise, the fucker actually did it. <laughs> did exactly what it was supposed to do. So yes, I love this little truck. This is this is just brilliant. Uh, so guys, I hope you like the video. I hope you share. I hope you comment. Especially, I hope you try and build one of these yourselves. And if it turns out better, let me know. Maybe send me the file. You can uh, send me a comment or a personal message on YouTube or something. And maybe I'll, if you're lucky, if you send me a nice picture of it and I really want to try it, maybe I will send you my email so that I can try this craft. All right, guys, until next time, peace, love, cheers.